Hello, my little G lovers. It's another vlog. Um, so today I actually have something to briefly talk about, at least. Um, I was in my first car accident today. Well, but the first one with me as a driver. I was in two total, I think. One when I was a little kid. Uh, my dad was driving me home from. I think it was. I think it was school. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. This is back in Oklahoma, um, and people down there don't know how to deal with ice on the roads, because it's warm, usually. You'd think they'd have figured it out by now. It's been a long time. But, um, basically we slowed down because there was black ice on the road, and my dad figured there would be. And the guy in front of us did not slow down, and he started spinning. Hold on, let me, let me get my spinning motion in here. Sp Spinning. Oh, I have a scratch. I didn't even know that was there. Um, and he hit us, and we all pulled into a parking lot. And there was really very little damage. Um, no one was hurt. Uh, we lost a headlight. No big deal. Uh, today, however, um, I lost both my legs. No, that was terrible. I feel bad. Um, no, uh, I was driving... I was going to go drop off some paperwork at the doctor for my mom, uh, stuff, and there's this, you know, traffic circle, a roundabout, whatever you call it, and it's one of the new ones that has, like, two lanes that I'm not used to because I live in a relatively small town. It's just been put in recently, like in the last couple years, and I had driven on it maybe once before. I got into the lane that you're supposed to go into if you're going all the way around the traffic circle. There's my spinning motion again. And at the last second, right before I entered the circle itself, I hear a horn. And it turns out someone was already in the circle, and I just hadn't been paying attention. And so I slammed into them. So that was, that was not fun. Um, both cars had relatively little damage, uh, mostly cosmetic on the van that I was driving. Um, one of her side view mirrors was torn off and just kind of dangling, and uh, she had a dent that prevented the passenger front side from opening the door. Um, she was carted off with a neck injury, possible neck injury. I was given... I wasn't even given a stern talking to. They were very understanding emergency workers, which I guess is kind of a necessity, but at the same time, you know, it was it was nice. It's not at all like what you see in the movie. It's like, you need to pay more attention while you're driving. You didn't do well. Shame on you. You should never drive again. I'm going to blow up your car. Didn't happen that way. Um, they told me, you know, it happens all the time. You, d you didn't do anything too bad. She's going to be all right. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, and I've... problem with this whole thing is that I've been dealing with anxiety recently, and this isn't going to help. Um, and the worst part is that after that errand, I was going to go stop by some... Uh, <clears throat> some other stores and drop off job applications for the summer. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm, I'm staying in bed all day. Um, so yeah, that happened. Uh, what else to talk about? I can't think of anything I actually want to talk about at the moment. So, I'm going to stop this here. It's at four, four minutes, give or take. Not bad. Um, my hair's fuzzy. And it sticks up in strange ways when I ask you to. Yeah. So on that note, um, shalom.